Okay, so let's talk about part two of function generators. So I've removed the um, envelope generator, um, and I've added two other things. So we've still got our maths, um, which can generate envelopes, and they can cycle. We've got our Buchla 281T, which I did an extensive series of videos about because it does so many things, and an intelligent Quadrax, which does hundreds of things, too, <laughs> if you want to play with it. Um, so... Basically, um, there's a lot of different ways to approach this. Um, I'm going to sort of really go at this generally because any function generator you get is going to have some combination of all these things. Um, so I'm going to just show it from that perspective. Um, so we've talked about envelopes. Um, a lot of function generators have switches like this where it kind of looks like a a triangle or maybe a flat top pyramid. Um, so what that means is it's transient versus sustain mode, which we can't demonstrate right this second because you would have to ho hook up a keyboard or a sequencer or something with sustain to it. Um, but what that means is it's just the difference between an attack sustain release type of envelope or an attack release type of envelope. So like, for example, if I had a keyboard here, if we're in attack release mode, or transient mode, I push the key, it does the attack and the decay, it doesn't care how long I hold down the key. If I've got sustain, it cares how long I hold down a key. Um, it works the same on the Quadrax, it's just we've got a little colored buttons, um, and this freaks people out. Um, there's definitely a higher learning curve here, but it, this thing does so many things um, that I love to have it around because it's like very useful. Um, so let's talk about cycles. Um, when we are cycling slowly, we have an LFO. So it's not necessarily functioning at a frequency that we can hear, but it can. it is sending out voltage in a shape, so it's affecting what's happening. So if we plug it into our volume, first of all, we've got this sound. on the maths, you know, this is all legal, so we attack and our decay work pretty much like you would expect. Um, it's just shaping the curve. Um, same thing with our Buchla here. And you can see we have our cycle light here. Our red light is showing us what's happening. This yellow light is an end of cycle trigger. Um, so when this gets to an end of cycle, it sends out a trigger, which is very useful because I can plug one channel into another and sort of one, tr one cycle can cascade a whole series of things happening. So like I only need one um, channel running and then it can trigger three different envelopes out of that, or it can trigger, you know, LFOs. It can do a lot of things. But you'll hear this is, you know, the same thing. <laughs> okay. Um, similarly, you know, this has a trigger button, so you can hear it do an envelope. And I've got it in sustain mode, right? So... If I hold down the button, it sustains. If I put it in uh, transient mode or AR mode, it's just going to do what the knobs say. Um, same thing over here. We've just got a few more modes to play with. Um, I'm looking at the bottom channel here. So here's our... That's an LFO. We can also kind of... So you hear on this one we have different shapes of LFOs. Um, let's show that in a way that makes the most sense. Uh, so I have a green mode. and. What this is, this is all positive voltage. Um, so you see it's always green, this light, as it's cycling. Best way to demonstrate this is with pitch. Um, so I'm going to plug this LFO into the pitch of the oscillator. And you'll hear it goes up really high. All right. We also have a purple mode. And it's going 
green and red. Let's go. There we go. So there's a reasonable cycle. Now this is going positive and negative and negative, so it's gonna go really high and really low. <laughs> Um, so you can find those different types of LFOs um, on different modules. So something to keep in mind. Um, also, um, the way this is set up, you know, the buccal is intended to like, you know, if, if I want to trigger another oscillator, I can take this end of cycle mode and plug it into trigger. Now we're triggering another envelope and we can just kind of cascade these together. Um, Obviously, the Quadrax is heavily influenced by the 281. Um, so they've sort of short-circuited this. Um, if I put it in an LFO mode, I've got these buttons here. And I can say, OK, when this cycle starts, trigger this one. And then I can say, when this cycle ends, trigger this one. <laughs> um, so we can set up a whole cascade of stuff happening, um, envelopes, LFOs, whatever you want, um, just internally to this device. Um, and I think that's maybe why people feel like this has a higher learning curve, because it can do so many things. Um, so anyway, that's LFO. Um, basically, it's just we're changing stuff um, at a slow rate, or a fast sort of rate but not an audio rate so it's not audible as a note um, our next one we're going to talk about using these as oscillators and as burst generators <laughs>